get a lot of speeches. Okay, so how, how does she feel about that today? Will she be releasing those transcripts? You know what? I have to tell you something, Allison. I know there is a real fascination on the part of uh, the media, and certainly the Sanders campaign is interested in sort of driving that narrative uh, and trying to drive a negative there. But the truth is, people don't, that's not what people are talking about here on the ground in South Carolina. It's not what people are talking about when I've been to Colorado or Birmingham, Alabama. What people are talking about, what they want to know is, are you going to invest in the African-American community? Are you going to invest in communities of color where we've seen did, un, not enough investment. Are, how am I going to send my kids to college? Talk to me about your plan for the historically black colleges. Talk to me about how you are going to build on the progress President Obama has made and what you're going to do to preserve health care, the Affordable Care Act, and yeah. make sure the Republicans don't strip that away. Sure, but That's what people are talking about. Sure, here. but I mean, why not? Since this keeps coming up, why not just be transparent? Why not just release them and lead the way on that if there's nothing to hide in there? You know, again, I think the issue is what is it that voters, I mean, her responsibility as a candidate is to talk to voters about the issues they care about, her policy ideas, her plans, what she would do. As she pointed out there, if everybody else is going to release their, you know, their stuff, then I suppose she will too. I mean, she's been incredibly transparent uh, already, but I think the most important thing here is this campaign is about the issues that matter to the, the American people. They get to have their say, and so far what they've said is they want Hillary Clinton. Karen Finney, we will be 